Threads of Resilience In the small village of Elmridge, young Emily Harper eagerly packed her bags, ready to embark on a journey that would forever alter the course of her life. It was the year 1917, and Emily had chosen to become a nurse, volunteering to care for wounded soldiers on the Western Front. As she boarded the train, her heart pounded with a mix of excitement and anxiety, fueled by the uncertainty of war. The letters between Emily and her brother, Thomas, stationed in the trenches, became a lifeline, connecting their hearts across the ravages of conflict. Through ink-stained pages, Thomas shared tales of camaraderie, fear, and the relentless mud that clung to his every step. Emily's replies spoke of hope, offering a comforting thread in the tumultuous tapestry of war that surrounded them. Amidst the chaos, Emily found solace in the company of a fellow nurse, Lily, whose compassion mirrored her own. Lily and Emily forged a bond stronger than the metal of the guns that echoed in the distance, supporting each other through the darkest of nights. In a letter to Thomas, Emily described the blossoming friendship, painting a vivid picture of the resilient spirit that thrived amidst the grim reality of conflict. The front lines were a harsh teacher, revealing the fragility of life and the strength that emerged from the depths of despair. Each letter from Thomas carried the weight of his experiences, a burden shared between siblings separated by the cruelty of war. Emily's hands became skilled healers, tending to wounds that bore witness to the brutality of battle. Lily and Emily found solace in stolen moments, sharing dreams of a future beyond the trenches, where peace would reign once more. As the war raged on, the letters exchanged between brother and sister became a lifeline, a beacon of humanity in the chaos of conflict. Emily's heart ached with the longing for a world where the only sounds were laughter and birdsong, not the thunderous roar of artillery. One fateful day, a letter arrived from Thomas, revealing the toll of war on his once vibrant spirit. The news devastated Emily, and her eyes, once filled with hope, now mirrored the sorrow etched in the lines on her brother's face. Lily, too, faced her own trials, witnessing the toll of war on the minds and bodies of those they swore to heal. In a desperate attempt to uplift their spirits, Emily and Lily clung to the shared dreams of a brighter tomorrow. The war, like an unrelenting storm, battered the shores of their resilience, but still, they pressed on, bound by duty and an unbreakable sisterhood. Seasons changed, and so did the landscape of the Western Front, scarred by the imprints of conflict. The letters served as a testament to the unyielding strength of the human spirit, an anchor in the tumultuous sea of war. Finally, a glimmer of hope appeared on the horizon, whispers of an armistice that would bring an end to the bloodshed. In a letter to Thomas, Emily dared to believe in the possibility of a life beyond the war, where they could rebuild what was shattered. The news of peace spread like wildfire, igniting hearts weary of the relentless battle against an invisible enemy. As the guns fell silent, Emily and Lily stood side by side, gazing at the horizon that promised a new beginning. The war had sculpted them into warriors of compassion, and they now faced the challenge of rebuilding a world fractured by conflict. With the ink of her pen, Emily chronicled the bittersweet emotions that accompanied the war's end, the joy of survival mingling with the grief for those lost. 
The letters that once bore witness to the trials of war transformed into a chronicle of resilience, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who faced the storm. Returning to Elmridge, Emily carried with her the weight of the war, her eyes holding the reflections of countless tales left untold. The village, though untouched by the physical scars of war, felt the echoes of its reverberations in the stories carried by their brave nurse. Thomas, now a changed man, embraced his sister with a mixture of relief and the unspoken understanding that their lives were forever altered. Lily, too, returned to the embrace of her family, her eyes mirroring the depth of the scars etched into her soul. In the quiet of Elmridge, the trio found solace in the company of those who had not tasted the bitterness of war's cruelty. Emily's letters, once a lifeline, became a cherished family heirloom, carefully preserved to tell the tales of sacrifice and resilience. The village children gathered around Emily, their eyes wide with wonder, as she recounted the stories of courage and camaraderie. The war, once a distant nightmare, now lived on in the memories of those who had witnessed its relentless grip. As the years passed, the scars on the land and the hearts of its people began to fade, replaced by the green shoots of hope. Emily, now an elder in Elmridge, continued to share the stories of the war, ensuring that the sacrifices made were never forgotten. The letters, yellowed with time, became a source of inspiration for generations to come, a reminder of the resilience that flourished amidst the ashes of conflict. The children of Elmridge grew up with the tales of their brave nurse, understanding the true cost of the peace they now enjoyed. Each letter held a piece of history, a fragment of a time when the world teetered on the brink of darkness. Thomas, though haunted by the ghosts of war, found solace in the love and support of his family, rebuilding a life scarred but not broken. Lily, forever connected to Emily through the invisible threads of shared trauma, forged a new path as a healer of hearts. In the heart of Elmridge, a memorial stood tall, honoring the sacrifices of those who had marched into the tempest of war and emerged forever changed. Emily, with a heart heavy with the weight of memories, gazed at the memorial, the names etched in stone telling the tales of heroes. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow on the village, Emily felt a sense of closure, knowing that their stories would live on. The village thrived, a testament to the resilience of its people, who had weathered the storm and emerged stronger on the other side. Emily's letters became a symbol of hope, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit could prevail. The children, now adults, carried the lessons of the past into the future, ensuring that the sacrifices made were never in vain. The war, though a distant memory, lived on in the hearts of the villagers, a reminder to cherish the fragile gift of peace. Emily, Thomas, and Lily, though scattered by the winds of time, remained connected through the stories woven into the fabric of Elmridge. The village, once touched by the shadows of war, now stood bathed in the warm embrace of a hard-earned peace. Emily's legacy, immortalized in the letters she had penned, served as a beacon for those who faced the challenges of an uncertain world. The war had reshaped the lives of Emily, Thomas, and Lily, but it had also forged bonds that transcended the boundaries of time and space. As the years rolled on, Elmridge became a haven of tranquility, 
a living testament to the power of resilience and the enduring spirit of humanity. Emily, in the twilight of her years, looked back with a sense of fulfillment, knowing that her journey had left an indelible mark on the tapestry of history. The letters, now carefully preserved in the village archives, whispered the tales of a bygone era to those willing to listen. And so, in the quiet of Elmridge, the stories of sacrifice and resilience echoed through the generations, a timeless reminder that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit could triumph.